What is up guys, it's Max Merck here and today I am in Las Vegas with this 2017 Chevy Camaro convertible. Now, this is a very beautiful car, it's finished in red, um, of course black top, it's got the black cloth interior. This is the V6. Let's move around the car. I'm not too familiar with Camaros, but I believe this does have the RS package, which does get you these big 20 inch wheels. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing, going over a bunch of the cool features of this car and uh, stuff you may not have known. First of all, if you look at the key fob, you'll notice that this car does have remote start. So if you didn't already know how to use this, you just lock the car and click and hold that button. There you go, car started. And when you unlock the car, low beams turn on. Now, basically what this does is, is uh, it'll let the car run for 10 minutes. And if you want to extend this um, another 10 minutes to 20 minutes, you just repeat the process again, lock the car, click and hold. There you go, now it'll be running for 20 minutes and that's, you can only extend it one time before it turns off. Once you remote start the car, you go inside and then to actually get moving, you go ahead, put your foot on the brake, engine start, car starts. So another cool feature is that you could actually open the top of the car, um, the roof with the key fob. So that's the button right there, top operation. So in order to do this, you have to make sure, first of all, that your partition is properly set in the trunk so right here on all camaros the convertibles so this piece in the back and then you clip it into place so right here you have one clip and then right here you have your second clip so with that partition set to open the top what you do is click the unlock button and then click and hold the roof button which is right there and as you see the roof will go ahead And open up now moving on to the cool features inside the car itself first of all you'll notice if you want to um you know open or close the windows you actually have two separate controls so to open the uh to close the rear windows you have a button right here push that and this allows you to uh, close the rear windows and then you push the button to the left and that lets you close the front windows nice and simple but you know I've uh, haven't really seen this in any other cars so that's something you have to get used to the next cool feature of this car is this display screen in the middle right here so uh, using these buttons on the steering wheel right here you can actually scroll through first when you have your digital speedometer Know, fuel economy stuff, fuel information, oil life, tire pressure, fuel economy, average speed, timer. So this timer is, I've seen it in like the Chevy Cruze, other cars as well. If you go down one more, battery voltage, coolant temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure. Here you have your performance timer. Now I, I've never seen this. So this is pretty cool. You can actually set a start speed or you can set, like let's say I want 25 miles an hour, set stop speed 60. You can actually you know time like uh like zero to 100 50 to 100 0 to 60 whatever you want so if i go ahead and set start speed i can do zero to 60. so give us zero to 60 timer i mean that's that's i've haven't seen that in any other car especially in a v6 um rental camaro that's pretty cool not gonna lie then you have lap timer do your laps reset it and you have a g-force meter which is pretty cool you know mustangs have that a lot of cars have that transmission fluid and that's about it but i mean that zero to 60 timer i find that pretty cool especially for a you know v6 base model rental camaro moving on to the climate control this is this is very cool on its own um to adjust the climate control you can actually move this entire vent to change the temperature and then um right here you can adjust the fan speed very nice on off you know adjust your different zones and then up here is your actual um infotainment system you know standard uh chevy stuff and your settings you can adjust a bunch of different stuff you know driving mode steering you can leave it in auto tour sport tour is basically your comfort sport is your heavy i like it on heavy steering you know teen driver nobody really bothers with that vehicle you can adjust you know um your comfort i'm sorry your lighting um you know like your en entry and exit lighting 
and uh, coming home lights. And then here you can adjust all the different, um, you know, lock feedback. You know, I don't like the horn when I lock the car. And also right here, you can actually adjust the passive door lock. So with passive door lock, if I get out of the car, take the key with me. I'm not gonna lock the car. I'm not gonna push any button, I'm not gonna do anything. And when I walk away from the car, it locked itself and then to unlock, you can either push the uh, button on the door handle or use the key fob. You also have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So if I go ahead and plug in my iPhone and go here and um, click projection, um, it automatically came up on its own. But here you have Apple CarPlay, Siri, you know, phone, music, maps. Very cool messages now playing Spotify all that stuff um, one of the quirks of this car is I don't know if it shows in the video but this um the driver entertainment screen is actually tilted downwards so it's at like let's say I don't know an 80 degree angle um, instead of 90 degrees or a little higher than that so at first it takes a little bit of getting used to because it's tilting downwards um, and I, at first I thought that was really really stupid but once I looked into it I found out um, the reason Chevy did this is for glare and uh, I don't know how much glare it actually reduces, but um, it does take a little getting used to, so that's a quirk of this car. And then down here is your traction control. So if I go ahead and start this car, traction control button's right there. If you push the traction control button once, that light comes on. That kind of semi-disables the traction control, so it'll let you have a little bit of play, but, you know, it still catches you. But if you go ahead and click and hold, click and hold the traction control button, for a good five, 10 seconds, the second traction control light comes on and now traction control is completely disabled. So in other words, if you wanna have some good, really good fun, you're gonna click and hold the traction control button. Next up is the drive select button right here. You can scroll through the modes. You have tour, which is your comfort. And uh, what this does is it, let, it uh, softens up the steering, you know, um, makes the throttle response a little more sluggish. Next up you have Sport. This really, what this does is it uh, tightens up steering, um, a lot sharper throttle response, and then it also activates this thing called Performance Shift. So if you're driving the car really hard, sometimes you'll get a message right here that says Performance Shift Activated. So what that does is um, while you're driving, it, it'll keep the car at about 3000 RPM. So if you're driving really aggressively and the car recognizes that, it'll keep the revs very high. And uh, when you downshift, it'll keep the revs high and it does that and sometimes it's a little hard to get out of this mode but the car will know when you're driving very hard and aggressive so it'll keep the revs high and you always have that power when you need it the last mode is snow and ice which is pretty self-explanatory for snow and ice you know led dome lights up there your very slim clean looking mirror and then right here you have your um, buttons for um i don't know if it, you can see yeah you have your buttons for your roof operation so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, if you guys want to see more of this content, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, tell me what you guys want to see, and thanks for watching.